The Board of County Commissioners acts as a quasi-judicial body when it hears requests for rezoning and conditional use permits. Applicants must provide competent, substantial evidence establishing facts or expert witness opinion testimony showing that the request meets the zoning code and comprehensive plan criteria. Opponents must also testify as to facts or provide expert testimony whether they like or dislike a request is not competent evidence. The board must then decide whether the evidence demonstrates consistency and compatibility with the comprehensive plan and the existing rules in the zoning ordinance, property adjacent to the property to be rezoned, and the actual development of the surrounding area. The board cannot consider speculation, non-expert opinion testimony, or poll the audience by asking those in favor or opposed to stand up or raise their hands. If a commissioner has had communications regarding a rezoning or conditional use permit request before the board, the commissioner must disclose the subject of the communication and the identity of the person, group, or entity with whom the communication took place before the board takes action on the request. Likewise, if a commissioner has made a site visit, inspection, or investigation, the commissioner must disclose that fact before the board takes action on the request. Each applicant is allowed a total of 15 minutes to present their request unless time is extended by majority vote of the board. The applicant may reserve any portion of the 15 minutes for rebuttal. Other speakers are allowed five minutes to speak. Speakers may not pass their time to someone else in order to give that person more time to speak. Right, welcome everyone. We're getting this called to order at uh, 5.01. So we're going to start out with a moment of silence. And then if you all will join me for the pledge, please. All right, thank you. We're going to um, move around the agenda just a touch here, and then we'll, we'll keep following it pretty well after this. But I wanted to address item H. Beyond that, I know that um, staff has handed out a letter from Myra uh, that I presume will be added to the minutes. Do you all have that? Yes? Okay, perfect. All right, the clerks have that. Um, basically saying that Myra voted to um, approve the BDP amendment for the subject property. So with respect to that, may I have a motion to approve? So moved. All right, so we have a motion from Commissioner Riznardi. I'll go ahead and second it. Now, Ms. Rizanka, do you mind if I call the question? No, please do. All right, I figured you wouldn't mind. All in favor of approval, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, passes unanimously. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. All right, with respect to um, items H1, H2, H3, and H9, and we can read them if Ms. Bentley thinks that's appropriate, I, I would ask for a motion to table them all to July 9. I, I think very quickly, at least the names of the applicants so that anyone listening can following what's happening. Okay, Jeff, do you mind for H1, 2, 3, and 9? Sure, I can do that. Thanks. Uh, H1 is Theodore Goodnow. H2 is also Theodore Goodnow. H3 is James and Mary, Mary Murray. Item H. put on this I, I think this is this is one that's going to get substantial public comment uh, my suggestion respectfully would be to table this to July 14th or 16th and create a meeting just for this I could easily see this going maybe even a couple hours uh, with public comment I know this is in my district and this is going to be something I anticipate will be pretty contentious so rather than bogging down July 9th which is already a pretty heavy meeting um, it might be better to, to set it for the 14th or 16th just whichever works better for, for you all and for staff what do you all think Don't all chime in at once. <laughs> Commissioner Tobaya. Yeah, I, I don't know about, and I'll go with anything, but I'd rather have it on a, a date instead of calling out everyone, uh, staff, 
uh, for a single item. Uh, but you want to keep it on July 9th? Yeah, I think I would rather okay. keep it yeah. during a meeting. We can always move it, or you can do a time certain if that's what you're worried about. Or We may want to do that. I'm, I'm thinking also that the stocks of coffee should be really full for that one. <laughs> Wouldn't be our first. Okay, may I have a motion in that case to table H10 to July 9th? That's for MI Plaza Group, LLC. So moved. All right, a motion for Commissioner Pritchett. I'll go ahead and second that to table it to July 9th. Again, it's item H's in Hotel 10. All in favor of ta tabling H's in Hotel 10 to July 9th, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, that is now tabled to July 9th. So we'll, we'll circle back, and now we're just going to follow the agenda in order. Uh, we'll start with G public comment. And I know we have at least one individual over there. I believe we have one individual over there at least. We do. They're by themselves. Come on down. Oh, here we go. <coughs> Mr. Tovey, welcome, sir. Okay. It's good seeing you, sir. Do you have any further public comment, Mr. Denninghoff? No, sir. 
Okay, that's it as far as public comment at this juncture. So we'll move on to H5. Jeff, if you give us a, an intro br real briefly. Sure, item H5 and H6 will be read into the record together since they're a small scale comprehensive plan amendment from residential four to community commercial. It's application number 20PZ00020. It's located in District 1, Commissioner Pritchett. Item H6 is also Troy H requests a change of zoning classification from GU to BU1. It's application number 20PZ00021. It's also located in District 1, Commissioner Pritchett. Thank you. All right, do we have any comment on this from the public? Yeah, Mr. Yates is here. If you want to get up, sir, you can speak to the board. Welcome, sir. Hello. If you, just, if you just start with your name again and then the city you reside in, please. Troy Yates. In the city you reside in? Uh, Coco. Thank you. All right, you've got the floor, sir. Um, my uh, request for... Uh, uh, um, lawnmower repair and sale shop. Uh, outdoors, uh, stuff like that, um, lawn furniture, things to that nature, pretty much all, out, all outdoors. Um, it's located just across the street from um, the BP gas station and right next door to uh, uh, Jabber's restaurant. And I noticed all the area south and north of there is pretty much being developed uh, commercially and industrial. Yeah, I'm kind of like right in the middle of it. I purchased it back um, April two years ago, 2017. And um, I was thinking of what I was going to do with it. And I, so recently, um, that's what my plan was for a mobile repair shop. But a probably 3,000 square foot building, somewhere around that size. Yeah, perfect. I'm comfortable with this. If the rest of the commission is, I make a motion to approve it. I'll go ahead and second uh, Commissioner Pritchett's motion to approve uh, the small scale comp amendment from Res 4 to Community Commercial. Again, this is to H5. So, all in favor of, of approving H5, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, H5 passes unanimously. As to H6, uh, Commissioner Pritchett, the zoning classification, do you make a motion as well to change from GU to BU1? I certainly do, sir. All right, I'll second Commissioner Pritchett's motion on H6 to approve that. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. All right, congratulations, sir. Thank you. Great, right, thank you. Enjoy. All right, H7, Jeff. Michael Richard and Karina. Emma Huggaboom requests to change the zoning classification from GU to AUL. Application number is 20PZ0022. Commissioner Pritchett. I'd do like we, to make a motion to approve this. I'm happy to accept that motion. Do we have any public comment? Uh, the applicants yeah. are here. If they would like to speak, they can, but we do not have any uh, public in Building B for this application. And I'm happy to, to give you all your 15 minutes, which you're entitled to, but it sounds like it's probably going to pass anyway. So. I think you might only talk yourself out again in the pass. So, all right, yeah, if you're good with it, I'm good with it. All right, so Commissioner Pritchett, your motion on H7 is to approve the changing zoning classification from GU to AUL? Yes, sir. All right, I'll second that as well. All in favor of approving H7, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Thank you all. Thank you. All right, H8. Brevard County requests the following, number one, changing the zoning classification from GML to GMLH, number two, a CUP for solid waste management facility, number three, the removal of an existing BDP, number four, a waiver of the 400 foot setbacks, number five, limiting the building height to 55 feet, the application number is 20PZ0026, it's located in District 1, which is um, Commissioner Pritchett. And I, I know we do have the applicant here, uh, many of the applicant staff. This, this is an interesting one. Okay, all right. We have a motion from Commissioner Pritchett to approve. No public comment on this? There's no public. All right, perfect. A second from Commissioner Isnardi. Gosh, I really want to vote down our own motion to approve a change here, but I'm just not going to do that. All right, all in favor of uh, approving H8 is moved and seconded. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, passes unanimously. 
Which brings us to unfinished business. I would ask if you all don't mind for a motion on I as in India 1 to table it until we have notice of issuance of a periodical permit from one of the publishers. <laughs> so the, the short version is this is the, the legal advertising question pertaining to Florida today and the other publishers. Um, I have heard back from one of the other publishers that they've at least this particular publisher, they paid their periodical permit application fee, and they have the temporary ability to submit things under the periodical rates, but they don't have the permanent yet. So what I would suggest, rather than going through something prematurely, is just to take it off altogether and advise staff to put it back on once we are advised by any of the publishers that they have had issued a, a permanent periodical permit. So is that a motion? Sure. All right, motion from Mr. Pritchett. I'll go ahead and second it. All in favor of tabling this, as I said, until notice of issuance of periodical permit, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Which brings us to item K as in Kilo, public comment. Any further public comment, Mr. Denninghoff? No, sir. All right, which brings us to L as in Lima board reports. Uh, Mr. Denninghoff, you look close enough to Mr. Abate, so I'll go to you. No report. Wonderful. Ms. Bentley? Yes, I do have a very short report. Please. The board asked us to Briefly, currently, Florida law does not specifically include sexual orientation or gender identity in its anti-discrimination statutes related to employment or housing. Brevard County codes and policies do not specifically include these issues either. There are three employment cases before the U.S. Supreme Court addressing gender identification and sexual orientation issues in employment. These arguments have been heard and we are awaiting the Supreme Court's order. Um, the U.S. Supreme Court actually did issue some opinions this morning. We checked. However, none of these cases were included, so we don't have that opinion yet. I'll report to you as soon as we have those decisions. Ms. Bentley, just a question, and I, mm -hmm. I haven't looked at this in a little while, so I apologize, but as I recall, there was a, um, a reference in the document that you passed out, which I'm sure will be included in the minutes today, uh, about one of a, I guess it was a municipality perhaps, a municipality's ordinance banning conversion therapy being struck down and that being brought up, I believe, to the 11th uh, Circuit in Atlanta. Is that, does that match your understanding? Yes. And that's currently under appeal still? Yes. So perhaps, um, again, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but what I- can I, check on that and bring it to. Perfect. Okay, excellent. All right, anything further, Ms. Bentley? No, thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Pritchett. Yeah, I have one request. Yes, ma'am. On Tuesday night, we went forward with the CO the COVID funds. I would like to request in those items that we have coming back on July, if we could add in for staff to do some research. I, I think I, I heard from some of the hospitals today, and they're having trouble with reimbursement on a lot of the PPE funds and some other things. So I would like staff to go ahead and do some research for us so maybe part of those funds could go to hospitals and then I thought also maybe health care providers maybe we could just leave that door open in case we have some of those that have been expending a lot of funds out of pocket that they could kind of be in that mix also I'll take it as a motion and I'll go ahead and second it any discussion on the motion uh, yeah, I would like to reiterate that you know more than I do but I've talked to several of the people in our county that are heads of hospitals and they said that gearing up for this, they spent hundreds of millions of dollars, and of course, thankfully, it turned out to be a big bust, and they haven't had to do anything with all that room and all that money that they spent, but they had to prepare. We're not out of the woods. It may happen in July or August, who knows, but they're really behind the eight ball because they spend a lot of their elector, elector, elect, whatever. I can't say it. Don't look at me. Yeah. Elected surgeries. Um, so they haven't been making a lot of money either. So they've kind of hemorrhaged funds so they could use some help if we can get it to them. Yeah, I'm happy to have staff do that research and get us the numbers. Yeah, I was just going to say definitely. And obviously, you know, with that comes them talking about, you know, proving that they've expended those funds. But just retrofitting a hospital for that kind of crisis is, is, a, is a huge task in itself. And the drive-through testing they had and the modification to their visitation and their, you know, the elective surgeries that were all stopped essentially because not because they wanted to but because they were told they had to so yeah I, I think that's a great idea I think it's a wonderful idea all right so all in favor of the motion which has been seconded say aye aye, aye. aye. any opposed passes unanimously anything further commissioner no sir thank you yes ma'am mr tobias thank you mr chair and i just have a, a brief board report <clears throat> uh, can i get something on the 
Should we brace ourselves? Please. I'm sorry. I missed something. There we go. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. So he wasn't staring at yes. you, Ms. Bentley, I Thank promise. You. Yeah. Uh, today is uh, Billy Prasad, who's my chief of staff. Uh, it's 36th birthday. Oh. Uh, all the good stuff that comes out of my office is uh, because of his tireless work. And I greatly appreciate he is the uh, certainly the un unsung hero. Not only is he a capable attorney, uh, he's a friendly uh, individual. He tells me when I've gone too far, uh, and uh, I greatly appreciate his uh, counsel. So uh, happy 36th birthday. Thank you for all you do, and uh, just a good example. Here we are at uh, 525 on his birthday. He didn't even take uh, his birthday off, so we certainly have dedicated folks, and I'm very thankful can, for his service to District 3 as well as, uh, as well as my office. Can we get that image back on again? I had a question. I'm sure he does not want oh, yeah. that, but I'm certainly not going to fight you. <laughs> All right. So, Logan, uh, not, not Logan, uh, Commissioner Tobias, the bottom left picture, is that the age at which you hired him? <laughs> <laughs> He's a world traveler. You see, he can hold up the Taj Mahal himself there. It's pretty good. Uh, so, uh, he, uh, he is, uh, again, just a, uh, an asset, and I greatly appreciate all that he does. He and does I, not appreciate this. I was going to say, I'm sure he yeah. appreciates being seen in a diaper on, on television. <laughs> those, uh, all those pictures were provided by his uh, lovely uh, sister, who was an intern in my office, and a <laughs> University of Florida graduate. So, Billy, that's where they came from. Sounds like you've damaged that brother-sister yeah. relationship yes. permanently. <laughs> Anything further, sir? No, thank revenge. you. All right, Commissioner Smith? Yeah, as... As long as we're talking about items that I would like to add and see added to uh, sure. the CARES project would be Green Gables. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Green Gables, but it's quite a historical property and the COVID has really put them in a bind. So if we could uh, get staff to look at their circumstance and see if they qualify, uh, I think that would be a, a positive addition for... for if you want to make county. it in the form of a motion, I'll take it as such? Yes. Okay. All right. That's a motion. Do we have a second? Sorry, sorry, Mr. Chair. This is just a look to see if this would fall fall into. I've got no problem. Yeah. All right. So we have a second for Commissioner Pritchett uh, to Commissioner Smith's motion. All in favor of having staff look can at that and bring us back info. Can we have some more comment? Yeah, if, sure. We can discuss it before I call the question. Commissioner yeah, Starty. I mean, and, and I think it's great, but I think that that opens the door for quite a bit of of people who think that they're eligible for those funds. So noble for sure. But if we allow every hotel, every museum, every, every agency out there that's been hit, which is just about everybody, then we are opening that door wide for, for those things. So I, you know, as much as I think it's noble and I appreciate you looking out for them and I think it's great what they're doing, I can't support that myself. Compelling enough comments. I'm going to join you in dissenting. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and call the question. So all in favor of Commissioner Smith's motion, say aye. 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 All opposed? Say nay. 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 All right, so Commissioner is Nardi and I in the negative passes 3-2. And as long as I still have the floor, I agree with you, you 100%. There's so much encompassed in people's loss. Mm -hmm. Businesses, people, um, you know, where do we draw the line? So, yeah. but I think that they have a lot, a lot that they can claim. If they can't, then they won't qualify anyway. And I appreciate what you're doing. I don't, that doesn't, you know, degrade that at all. But yeah, well, it's a slippery slope. Saying. Yeah. All right, Commissioner is already. I have nothing except thanks, staff, for getting the Florida room ready for us. I appreciate it. Now we can all be here um, and look at each other instead of being in the penalty box like we were the other <laughs> night. No, I appreciate all the efforts made. I know it's a lot on staff, and I just want to say thank you to county staff for doing the job that you do. All right. Uh, according to time.gov, it's uh, 524. I'm going to go ahead and adjourn it at this time. Thank you all. That's got to be a record. The opinions expressed by any member of the public during any period of public comment do not necessarily reflect the views or opinions of the Board of County Commissioners of Brevard County, Florida. Space Coast Government Television or the program sponsor and are solely those of the presenter. The Board of County Commissioners of Brevard County, Florida, Space Coast Government Television and the program sponsor hereby expressly disclaim any and all responsibility or liability for any defamatory or slanderous statements expressed by any member of the public during any such period.